Good morning. My name is Raven. I have the privilege of serving on staff here at Providence. We just want to say, if you're new, welcome. We're so glad that you're here. We would love to encourage you after this gathering to head to our Get Connected table in the back so that we can get to know you and plug you into the life of our church. Well, hey, for those of you who have been here for a while, you know that our bulletin has all of our events on there. So if you're new, you can check that out to give, to figure out prayer requests or anything like that. But I want to highlight two events quickly on there, which is our Good Friday gathering and our Easter Sunday. And so our Good Friday gathering is actually going to be this Friday at 630. And that's just a time where it's going to look a little bit different. There's not going to be any food or drink. It will be a little bit darker in here and more somber as we remember Christ's death. And then on Sunday at 830 and 1030 a.m., we're going to be celebrating the fact that Christ defeated death and that we get to celebrate in new life with him. And so we would just encourage you, invite people, have them come with you on that Sunday, and also consider coming to our Good Friday gathering as well. We would love to see you there. But at Providence, we want to take time to just highlight what God's doing and praise Him for those things, because what gets said gets repeated. And so we just want to highlight this morning our Prov youth. So if you guys could give Lamar, one of our youth volunteers, a round of applause. Lamar, come on up here. Lamar, you've been serving with our Prav Youth, which is our student ministry for middle school and high school. Can you tell us how you got involved with that? As I was growing up, youth ministry itself had a really big impact just on my walk um, when it came to building the foundations um, and then also having the encouragement along the way from older people just to kind of reinforce that. So when Providence had their ministry starting up and Daniel approached me, I was like, yeah, of course, I'd want to pass that on to the next generation, you know, so really excited to be here. That's awesome. I'm glad. So for those of the people that haven't been to Prav Youth or don't really know what goes on during the night, can you kind of give us a snapshot of what that looks like? Yes. So... A lot of the kids don't show up on time yet, but that's okay. (laughs) Um, We start off with a game, so when they come in, they're just having fun. And then right afterwards, we go into a meal. Um, After that, you know, they still do a little bit of talking, but we get into some content. Um, And then afterwards, if we have time, we break into a um, group session. You know, we separate the younger kids, sixth to eighth grade, and then the freshmen to the seniors. Split them up. There's different bandwidths there. So we give it to them in a way that they can understand. Um, and then after that, we send them home and we go home to rest. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Probably a lot of energy with the games before also content after, but that's awesome. What has been something that's just been really fun for you to see? Like a highlight that you've been really encouraged that God's been doing in the ministry. Yes. So um, one of the biggest things to highlight is just some of the conversations that I've been able to have with the youth, Um, just their one knowledge, you know, uh, sixth grade, I didn't know a whole lot. So these sixth graders, you can tell the parents at home were actually like raising their children up, um, sharing the gospel with them and building that foundation. Um, So that's super exciting. And then also like the hunger and the desire to actually share this with the people they know. Um, There's been a lot of boldness in the youth, you know, there's They come every Sunday and they tell us, oh man, I tried to do it this way, you know, and sometimes they're like, it didn't work out that well. Um, But it's been really exciting to see their passion. So it's awesome. That's amazing. Just hearing how they want to share the gospel. Like I think about when I was in, yeah, sixth grade, seventh grade, just the fear and the fact that you have bold students. And that's a testament to our families here. Mm -hmm. So Lamar, can you just pray for us and praise God for what he's doing in this ministry and also just praise him for the families that we have here at Providence that are building up their kids to do that. And if you would all bow your heads and pray with us too. God, thank you for another day. Thank you for the good news of Christ and what has been accomplished in his life, death, and resurrection. Thank you for a church body that holds this truth in such high regard and makes continual formation a priority. Thank you for the parents who are raising up their children in truth. I pray that you continue to use them and their faithfulness to guide and bless their children. God, we want to continue to lift this ministry to you, creating these youth a receptive heart that allows for deep roots of truth in life. We pray that they experience your goodness in community, in rich conversation, and even in all the games we make up along the way. I pray that you give us wisdom as leaders in how to edify, encourage, and serve the youth. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Lamar. Praise God. So cool what he's doing in that ministry.